another room makeover. I know it's been a long time since I did one of these. We have been busy with so many things, but I finally have another room ready for you. So we're so excited. This is the formal living room area. Uh, I showed you the den earlier, which also has a couch and a fireplace and stuff, but this would be the actual living room space. So I'll take you around and show you what we did. There's a lot of windows in here, so I hope we can get some good shots even with all the light coming in. It's beautiful for actually living in, but it's hard to video in because of all the windows. If you're new here, my husband and I just moved into this old 1700s farmhouse last year and we are in the process of renovating it and making it feel like home so anyway without further ado let's roll some footage of what it looked like before and then get into where we are today in the door we have these two beautiful big windows here i hung a mirror in the middle there from it's a hearth and hand mirror that i actually found at a thrift store and then beside that we have a bunch of plants a couple of these i actually brought in from outside and then this beautiful big mirror that i got at home goods moving along we have these couches that i picked up at Costco, it's like a Costco B-stock kind of place. The throw is from Target. And then our coffee table here is from, where did I order that from? Urban Outfitters, I think. And then just some thrifted vases, the greenery I just picked outside. This plant I picked up a couple years ago at a, it's called Produce Junction. Um, it's a store that they sell a bunch of fruits and veggies and stuff anyway. They have plants there sometimes, but they're not always marked. So I think I was able to, on a plant finder app, figure out what kind of tree it is. Apparently it grows up to like 30 feet tall, um, but I've had it now for six years maybe, and it's still only this height. I love the shape of the leaves and just, yeah, I think it fits well in here. And then the curtains I got actually at tablecloththfactory.com and I'll try to link whatever I can down below. Super inexpensive, but they work and they have a bit of that like linen look and the curtain rods are from Target, I believe. Uh, now, fun fact, if you were not here for earlier room makeover videos, I always think it's so interesting. The windows are, the, are this deep in because this is actually how thick the wall is of this house. It's solid stone and I think it's 24 inches. So yeah, that's always a fun fact, but not so fun when you're trying to hang nails in the wall and all that kind of stuff. So there's definitely pros and cons to that. Now, moving on to one of my favorite parts of this living room. So fun fact, I really wanted shelves that were all the way from the top to the bottom in here. I thought it would be so pretty and it was definitely kind of inspired by Lynette Yoder's bedroom, like their little office space in there. I loved the green with that colored wood and I was like, oh my word, that'd be so cool to do like a full wall shelf with that. But it was gonna be crazy expensive and I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll think of something else. Well, lo and behold, some random old man came onto our yard and for those of you that don't know, Josh sells like wooden chests on online. He has a website where he does it. AmishHandcraft.com, you should check it out, totally. Anyways, but the guy wondered if Josh could use any wood and Josh is like, well, he won't use them for the chests, but if he wants to get rid of the wood, then like we'll look at it, whatever. So uh, Josh went there a couple days later and he had all this wood that he basically gave Josh, like super good price for it and there's even some like live edge pieces that we want to turn into maybe tables or charcuterie boards that kind of thing so sweet that's how I was able to get my shelves so that was so exciting I forget the name of this wall paint it's a Benjamin Moore if I can find it I'll link it below but I'm not sure if I saved it I totally should have but yeah I'll have to look into that anyways Styling these was a bit of a doozy. I was not expecting it to be so hard to style them, but because they're so long and 
so many. It's a little hard to get something like cohesive and that looks really good. So these I'm sure will keep just evolving over time, probably changing all the time, but that's the fun of it. I feel like I can really change out my decor in here really inexpensively just by what I have on the shelves now. So anyways, let's take a look at those. Most everything on these shelves is thrifted. The baskets are from Ikea and the books are thrifted. I have my sweet little willow tree set there, the nativity that is from Josh. And then these plants are real, yes. They are ivy that I had outside. The vases painting earlier on to get kind of that clay look and lots more books and things. The frame in the corner there is from Hobby Lobby, just kind of an abstract looking painting and I believe everything else I thrifted. These chairs I got from Article. Y'all, they are definitely more expensive than some places but amazing quality. I am so impressed with these, even just from how they were delivered, and then just everything about them is really good quality, so I am really excited about those, but it is a bit of an investment. And then over here, oh, we got some sun coming in there. The vase I just thrifted as well as the little coffee stand there. And then, yeah, this couch was just the other part of that set from the Costco wholesalers. Um, these pillowcases are from Ikea. And I think most of these were thrifted. Um, the one on the end there is from Ikea as well. And then on top here, I just did what I do in every living room I live in, it seems, and that is do my own canvases for family pictures. So it's always such a fun, personalized thing to have, and yeah, we really like that. The lamp here I got, where did I get it? I think I found it at a thrift store, actually. Here, I believe is from Overstock. All right, friends, thank you so much for visiting our living room today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspired or encouraged you in some way. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, friends.